Good morning out there, traders. It is June 21st, 2024, and welcome to the Aptero's Daily Market Insight. Let's start with our recap from yesterday. So yesterday we had a bullish what is picture, a bullish line in the sand uh, with scenario one being a hold above, scenario two being a hold down below. But scenario one was definitely the weaker of the two scenarios, mainly because we had mentioned that the risk reward landscape had kind of run out of that particular bias. So that narrative had pretty much run its course across multiple timeframes to destinations, and we had really just run out of room to the upside for that market to continue to, to press without an extremely high energy event, catalyst, something like that, right? So scenario one, the what is picture was definitely weak, and it wasn't necessarily our main, you know, stalking narrative. We were really more focused on scenario two. However, um, we had to wait until that line in the sand broke down, and Man, did we get lucky yesterday. We ended up seeing a perfect example of compression. This is a price action pattern that uh, we do use, Nadra students use, in which we're basically seeing that kind of descending wedge situation there um, where our line in the sand has a couple of inflections coming out of it. The highs continue to get lower, um, for an example, with the shorts. And then you end up holding below that line in the sand area and you see the breakout or the breakdown um, underneath that zone. If you are an address student, this is a perfect example of when to employ that type of trade or scenario. It's probably the only situation that we find ourselves actually trading more breakout style as Nadro traders. Otherwise, we're mainly pullback traders, right? So this is the one situation in which a breakout entry um, is a part of our plan after seeing this type of pattern into a weakened, what is picture a weakened line in the sand, this expectation uh, with this breakout is is kind of the the setup or the play for that particular scenario. Um, so going with scenario one in terms of opportunities, if you were focused on scenario one, the best one probably was right here because after this really fails, the compression picture starts to take shape. And then down here, you know, another opportunity because of the inflection and the hold there, uh, but definitely more of a scalp because the compression picture is is now completely visible at that point. Um, to the downside. And the expectation for the compression was going lower, especially within the context of what was happening yesterday. It's super important to remember that. This compression isn't just about, oh, look, there's a, there's a descending wedge type of pattern, because these happen everywhere. It's putting the whole entire picture together. We had destinations tagged on the risk-reward landscape to the upside. We were saying that the upside was weaker without an extremely impressive day you know, a lot of bullish selling or something like that. Without that information, the downside has the better risk reward landscape. And we're just waiting for this what is picture to get down below to switch into scenario two. And we end up seeing a pattern that allows us to access that without a pullback. And that's essentially what we got um, going into yesterday. So this area here, definitely possible for the breakout um, if you are a Nadro student. If not, and you're waiting for pullbacks, there wasn't much to do there. And you got down to this first target area, a pullback into a neutral reference, opportunities to, to get short um, along with scalps off of the neutral areas here, back down into this target area, um, possibly looking for this next level that just never got there. So that's kind of the overall landscape of what happened yesterday with the DMI. A little bit more explanation involved with this one uh, because we had such an awesome example of a compression type of situation. So if you're a NADRA student, take note of this, uh, track them, pay attention to them, because this was an opportunity um, for you to be a breakout trader for one day. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a look at what's going on for today. All right, so now taking a look at the landscape for today, it's pretty straightforward in that um, our leading narrative or our leading context essentially is rotational uh, based on one of our lower time frames. The reason why we're going with that as kind of our leading context is mainly because it kind of elegantly sums up the dissonance in this market. The dissonance being that the more recent information is a bearish shift, right? We have a bearish shift in this market and the risk reward landscape is better to the downside on the higher timeframes. So we have more room to operate on the downside. The big problem with a bearish outlook right now is that we have this area right in here in which multiple timeframes are bullish at two different trade locations, essentially. But really this whole entire zone is bullish on one of our time frames, and then we have just two areas where lower time frames line up really well. So I made them into two different lines in the sand, kind of with a no-fly zone in between. And what I mean by a no-fly zone is this particular area here really isn't a spot where you want to be getting short in. 
Um, and the main reason why that is is because you're essentially you would essentially be getting short in a contextually bullish zone, and it just wouldn't be the place to be aggressively short. Now, the only caveat I would have to that is that if this market was doing this, right? Essentially, you got a candle that looks something like that, right? Where it just shot straight down through and, you know, the market is extremely bearish and aggressively bearish and all those kind of things are happening. Um, otherwise, you know, in this zone here, you're still technically bullish on one of the main time frames. There's just two very obvious trade locations to do that from from lower time frames. So I just wanted to explain that um, briefly to anybody who is an Adro student that understands kind of the references that we're working with. If you're not, and you're just using these levels kind of as is, then let me just break down the scenarios in a very clear, clean way for you. Let me erase these drawings here. All right, so uh, the scenarios essentially are scenario one that we maintain that rotational picture. And those are the expectations of that rotational picture. Problem is in the middle here, it's there's a neutral area in between where this is definitely going to be a spot of kind of chop in, in the expectations of this rotational area, right? So you gotta pay attention to this whole entire zone here. That's where things can get a little dicey. You can go back and forth. You can end up doing something like this. You know, you can see a lot of that back and forth there with scenario one. Scenario two uh, really is more or less a breakdown, but it's it's more available down below here, right? So you actually kind of want to do um, a situation where you're you're paying attention to scenario one still in this particular zone in terms of the bullishness, looking for inflections in that area there. Um, but then if you get down below here, then you're looking at scenario two with destinations lower. Um, and I even have a further one down here if we really get bearish today, uh, down into the 36s, okay? So that's kind of the overall landscape to the downside there. Um, scenario three would be a break up. In other words, we end up seeing scenario one hold, get up into here, and then we see a continuation out above that um, bearish line in the sand area up into the higher destinations, which this is all we have here, up into the 90s. And then from there, it's just kind of wide open space uh, once again. So. That's the overall landscape and layout for our scenarios. Um, the tricky part with today definitely is this particular zone here. Um, handle it with care. It's generally a more bullish area, just so you're aware. So our line in the sand today for the bulls is kind of more or less that whole zone, uh, but we have two distinct areas that we could be paying attention to that um, particular bullish scenario, all right? So trade well out there, mind your risk, um, and let's get after it.